Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I am back with a Halloween project share and a few quick updates. Over the weekend, we were able to celebrate my daughter Lil's 15th birthday. Here are a few pictures from our tablescape. We had an Alice in Wonderland theme. And guess what? I was able to use those set of plates and tumblers that I got from that $4 Michael's grab bag. If you haven't seen that haul, make sure to check it out. I'll put the link at the end of the video. Now let's have a look at our project share here. Before I begin, I made this altered Halloween book for my dear snail mail friend Sandra. If you are watching, press the pause button. No peeking. This is for you and I want you to be surprised. Before I show you the inside of this book, I wanted to just share real quick which paper pad I use. It was a DCWV Halloween Spirit. I also used a number of other embellishments and other paper packs that I have in my stash but mainly that was a paper pad. Just to give you an idea of how big this book is, it's 12 inches long, by far one of the biggest ones I've made so far for any of my swaps. So here is an original picture, or the original picture of the book I had purchased from Half Price Books. It was $2. It had a Halloween theme, so I thought it was perfect for our swap and I like the coffin shape of the book. So here we go. So let's have a look first at the cover. Here's a closer look at our cover. So in the center, we have our Dracula here carrying a sign that says Happy Halloween. I used some crepe paper and created some ruffling here at the border of our card and also attached a uh, foam skull here. These cute stickers come from the paper pack itself and some of these foam stickers come from my stash. I love this mummy and this bat, super adorable. And so for the cover, I love the gold foil on this. I decided to go with that look. We also have some washi tape here at the top. I think that's a Tim Holtz. So now let's have a look at the inside pages. Here's a look at the first two pages of our altered book. I wanted to keep some of the pages intact, didn't want to cover them with any scrapbooking paper just because this is a Halloween book and it's perfect for the theme. It is one of Sandra's favorite holidays. Octavius Grimwood is pictured here and it's perfect. I love this. So I just add a little journal card that says boo. We have a ghost die cut here. I love that this foggy trail here looks like it's coming from the ghost coming to this page. So our first page says sweet dreams and it talks about ghosts, vampires, which is some fun facts for Halloween. And we have our ghost page. Love, love, love this paper pad. Look how adorable these ghosts are. So again, my intention was to create a memory keeper book for her Halloween memory keeper where she can journalize, put some pictures in here. So we have our journal card. She can definitely tuck in a picture here or put her journals uh, notes over there. And then here are a few more journal cards, some fun stickers as well. The next page talks about all the scary skeletons. So I wanted to make sure every fun fact, next page where she gets to put her pictures kind of coincides with the fun fact page. So now we have our skeleton page. I love this. So here we have some washi in the center. We have a few tucks here, journal card. So you can definitely put your four by six picture here if you'd like. Here is another tuck here, and you can also put your journal card over there. I also created a belly band here. Look how adorable this bag is. This is from Target. I'm gonna put some fun goodies in there. Love his scared, astonished expression, super cute. Next, we have a little pocket here, and in the pocket, I created a photo mat that she can use so she can put photo here. And then here is a cute little pocket for her journal card. It says boo to you. We have our little tab here with this cute mischievous looking bat. And I love this skeleton. So that is our first pocket. Now let's have a look at the next page. Next page 
has some fun facts about haunted houses. So I wanted to create a photo mat or a next page for her pictures that had something to do with houses or haunted houses. So here we have a fun pop-up. So we have our haunted house here and then over here kept it blank. It is a pretty busy page so I'm sure she can use this and put her picture, put a journal card here. We have another pocket with another photo mat which you can put pictures front and back. Love this. It says eek. So super cute. We'll put it back in there. And now we have the Wicked Witches page. So again, some fun facts. This is a pretty cool book. And we also have Cast a Spell page. I just put a few extra stickers here with this cute witch. We have a frog and then all these cute little like um, shimmery stickers. So I love the spell that says make yourself invisible, make a love potion, etc. and turn a prince into a frog. So now we have our witch page here. And here I included some fun Halloween stickers. We have one pocket over here. This is our belly bin here, which you can definitely use. You could still put a picture in the back on both pages. And we have our final pocket here with another back-to-back -back photo mat. It says spooky on the tab, trick or treat. Love these pumpkins. And then you have that. So you should definitely put a journal card here or a photo and put the picture here in the front. So that is our final pocket. Now we'll go to the next page. And over here, it talks about trick or treat, some fun games, and some history on when and how Halloween started. Super awesome. And then we have our final page here. I love this mummy. This is a something I got a bunch of die cuts from Target. And we have this cute little goodie bag with the mummy and some wonderful die cuts that I'm have uh, given to her. Let's have a look and see what those look like. So some of them, I, we have our candy corn and all these other things. There's more in there, so don't want to really take it out just in case. And then we put back our money right there. So on the back of the book, we have our cute little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern here. So, and then I kept this bear as well, just like the cute little taglines here and just covered this part. So there you have, it. that was my Halloween project share. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Love to hear from you. Again, thanks for watching Karamiya's Corner. See you next time.